I want to talk about aging, actually. I want to talk about aging, the process of aging, what causes aging, how we can better manage and prevent it. Hello, my name is Fumishewa Adela, and I am the founder of Swan Pro Cosmetics, where we help women between the ages of 30 to 60 achieve their skincare goals and better prevent and manage the changes that are caused on their skin due to the process of aging. Aging is a process that happens or occurs naturally to our body, to our skin. There are two factors that um, generally causes aging, okay, that causes the process of aging. The first factor is the intrinsic factor which is the natural process of aging it is the chronological effect of aging which happens in every part of our body actually and also every part of our skin including the the photo protected areas that means including areas in our bodies where we put on clothes and are covered okay so aging occurs in all areas of our body as well as our skin okay that is intrinsic aging okay it's generally and it's it's more of a slower process it's it happens over time it is continuous it happens over time and um it's it's not it's basically it's gradual and it's it's irreversible no one can reverse the natural process of aging and that is the one we call the intrinsic um, process of aging things that you know, happen when the aging is happening intrinsically. The first thing is the loss of collagen. Decrease, let me put it that way, not the loss, the decrease in collagen production or synthesis, okay? So collagen is what is responsible for strengthening of the skin, okay? When you notice that the skin is weak, the skin muscles are weak, you know, when you pull on the skin, it doesn't snap back. It doesn't have those firm muscles. Let me put it that way anymore. That means the collagen production is reduced over time. So that is co collagen loss or <laughs> collagen decrease is one. The other factor is also elastin in a decrease as well. So elastin is actually what is responsible for that suppleness, that bouncing back of the skin such that when you pull it tugs it tugs right back you know no saggy skin no fleshy um skin okay so that is elastin so elasticity or elastin synthesis also reduces over time also the immune system of the skin could be weak so the skin can no longer prevent uh you know external um how would i put it external factors environmental factors external irritants and all of those things that are coming at it so the skin is not uh able to perform its functions as it should you will also find out that as the skin is aging it loses um, the stratum corneum that's that um upper layer of the skin that um that's very upper layer, that very thin layer that you can see on your skin begins to get, you know, a little bit lost. It loses that efficiency. Loss of hydration as well, so the skin becomes dehydrated, okay? Now, do not be scared, okay? This is a natural occurrence and everyone has gone through it. But that is why we are here, to be able to better manage it, okay? And prevent it in some cases when i say prevent it so that as if you're younger you are not showing signs of aging faster than you should okay that's why we're here and if you are older for you to be able to manage you know these signs that's why i'm here okay and all all the things i've mentioned are the you know intrinsic you know factors that causes the process of aging. Now let's talk about the extrinsic factors. That's the external factors. You know, these are processes that occur due to the in when 
is induced, let me put it that way, is in, induced by external factors, environmental factors, environmental irritants or pollutants like um, the sun, exposure to sun, the wind, exposure to lots of wind, dust, smoking, um, air pollutants and all of those. These factors actually speed up the aging process. Remember that I said for the intrinsic uh, factors, it's a slow, gradual, continuous process, okay? So it happens over time and it's slow, okay? It doesn't just come at you, okay? You just don't wake up and you're old. Well, <laughs> but um, there are other factors that you could be doing that could speed up the aging process. And I also like to add diet, diet that is that is full of sugar and when i say sugar sugar doesn't mean only added sugar i'm talking about foods that convert to sugar like hard high carb diet as well also contribute to the aging factor and also contribute to how speedy uh, people age okay so now let's go to the factors or the processes that happens that um that's contributed by the extrinsic factors okay like say for instance sun exposure smoking especially those two sun exposure it has been linked to 90 percent of a lot of cosmetic um skin issues but what happens is that the 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 skin especially for people who are living in highly um sunny areas or people who generally just expose themselves to the sun the sun heats on the skin and the skin is doing a lot of work trying to protect itself but when over time it's not able to perform these functions anymore because the skin has been exposed too much and too frequently to the sun okay so let's talk about the the types of sun rays okay so we have the uvc which you know generally is already absorbed by the ozone layer okay and then we have the uvb which um, is responsible for the sunburns hyperpigmentation when exposed to these rays they improves increase sunburn hyperpigmentation uh loss of you know um they, they they increase the rate to which your stratum corneum loses its uh, functions as well okay so they also increase uh, wrinkles they contribute it's a contributing factor to wrinkles and um, aging spots okay uh, also so these are the things that happen when it when you when you are exposed to uvb rays okay now there's the uva rays which is um responsible so at some point there wasn't so much concern about the uva rays because they're said to not be as um potent or as penetrating as the uvb rays but over time they have come to realize that it is the most dangerous of them all the reason is that it doesn't come as fast like it doesn't come as um forceful as the uvb you uv you could be having x or what, what do i put it you could be um absorbing uvas but you would not you may not burn okay but uva is the most dangerous because it happens slowly and it penetrates deeper into the skin so that causes aging faster so let me say UVB is ultraviolet rays burning while UVA is ultraviolet rays aging okay so let me just so that you'll be able to understand what I mean so when when the one that burns the skin and causes hyperpigmentation redness uh, wrinkles loss of uh, stratoconium strength is the UVB but the one that really penetrates deeper into the dermis okay remember that's the epidermis and the dermis, but the top is the stratum corneum. So the one that penetrates deeper into the skin, into the dermis, is the UVAs. And so that's why it's the one that contributes the most to, you, um, to, to aging. 
So when you are purchasing your sunscreen, you want to make sure that it's the one that has a full spectrum, okay, protection that is against the UVA and the UVB, okay? That is one thing that you have to know. Now let's talk about the other factors that contribute to um, aging, e extrinsic aging, the smoking in general. Smoking dries out the skin normally, especially when you purse your lips, uh, especially around the the face, the lips, the neck, and the hands, so the skin, the foreskin. The people who smoke are generally uh, they generally age faster or look um, older faster than people their peers. Smoking generally just dehydrates um, the 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 system, the body, and of course dehydrates uh, the skin. Extrinsic factors are also responsible for burning hyperpigmentation um, the skin loses elasticity as well then the muscles of the skin you begin to find out that the, the skin begins to lose the muscles as well now this is the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic intrinsic like i said is a much slower process okay you're gonna age but it's a slow continuous process while extrinsic it's like the you know the faster one okay so it speeds it up the more you expose yourself to these things the sun smoking the extra environmental factors like wind uh um, air pollutants the more you expose yourself to all of these things it speeds up this intrinsic aging process okay i'll come back and tell you what you must do to manage and to prevent these processes. Thank you.